Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Persona 4. It is the night of the 14th. We don't really have much to do tonight. I think I already checked the fridge. Totally dead. So let's just go to bed. Looks like we're still tired from getting knocked into the TV earlier. Good news. Probably fine. Ah, oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Hi. Bye. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Good time. Doe. Don't be worried, he's a cop. People like cops. Surely. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Oh yeah, because you want to witness a murder. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? That is actually the very same voice actress as Black Rose from the Dot Hack series. It's kind of obvious to me, because I've played the game, but that's totally her. It's funky. Oh. Man, my thing's fizzing. Yeah, should probably get to school. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. No oh, good. More gossip. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder Bitches be crazy. The school assembly all of a sudden. Nah. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Oh, it's nothing. Sure. On your period again. Please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. Or maybe he hit another trash can or busted his nuts on the telephone pole. First, the principal has something to say. I think this is the only time you'll ever hear her voice. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. I think it is also the same guy who voiced the principal in Persona 3. Could be wrong. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Konishi of Class 3, has passed away. Passed away? Well, fuck. Ms. Konishi was found deceased early this morning. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. Is yours okay? I ask you for your cooperation. I urge you, as students of this school, to provide only the facts. Please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> Uh, 
<sighs> you know, we've been in town for what, three days? Maybe? Possibly? She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. I'm starting to think the students are smarter than the police, because they're still trying to figure out what the fuck happened. But I'm pretty sure after this one they're going to call out murder. But I really have to say, we've been in town for, what, maybe three days, and this is the second murder from the day we got here. I mean, probable cause is pointing at us as the killer, you know? We're kind of new, and two people are dead since we've gotten here, and it's not even been a week. Two people are dead. Hmm. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. Seriously. Oh, by the way, did you hear? Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that Midnight Channel thingy. You tell him, Black Rose. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? A little. <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. Hmm. The media's been broadcasting their interviews with her nonstop. So maybe they just had Saki on the brain. Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. What's up, Broske? Hey. Did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen, Saki Senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. If it quacks like a duck, walks like a duck, and looks like a duck, it's probably a duck. And then, she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but... Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on, are you saying... people who appear on that TV die? I can't say for sure. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. Honestly, I wish some people who would appear on TV would die. And I'm talking like 80% of them, but... I digress. <laughs> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. In that room with the posters on the wall, it has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Again, Duck. Well, what do you think? Let's do it. Yeah, probably. I mean... So it's not just me, huh? If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. That would explain the posters in that room. It would. Which means, if we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yeah, I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D d don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. He has a point. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. Unless I, uh... 
unless I uh, just reach into one right in front of them. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Oh, Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Fair enough. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. True. But I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. For power and glory. Let's do it. I can kinda understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Grow wings. Um... Yes. Uh, you, you serious? Yeah. Let's do some things. Uh, anyways, let's go to Juness. We can't leave Yosuke alone. You know, it's been like two hours, and we haven't gone into a single brouhaha. So, uh... I mean, minus that dream thingy. But... Oh, he looks like he's prepared. You guys came. For something. We came to stop you, idiot. Uh, Come on, you might have. really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. Yeah. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. True. Bear. Maybe isn't good enough. Maybe it's totally good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with me. That's true, but... What about you? Could you just walk away? And here is another situation where you can answer one particular answer and get increases. So, boom. I'm worried about Chie. Your understanding has increased. Yeah, it'll be just you and me. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Chie, I'm leaving you in charge of this. So, you walk into an electronic department of a department store, and you just see three students. One is geared with a rope tied around his waist and a golf club. What do you do? Huh? What's that? A, a rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. What? Then is this a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. I... Here. This is for you. Woo! Golf club! Our first weapon! That's exciting, right? We got a golf club. And three medicine. I thought it might be better than going in empty-handed. That's right, kitties. We're about to do some things. Shit's right, about to get go. real. There's no use wasting any more time. Chie, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Hey, I said wait! See ya! This should be fun. How about you give us some slack? Go tug on it. Dummy. See, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Now what? Um Papa squat and wait, I guess. We're gonna have to work on our entry. Is this... Look, this is the same place as last time. So they are connected from place to place. Yeah, it didn't look that way. Hey, you guys! Why'd you come back? Oh, Demise, man. What up? I get it. You're the ones behind this. Probable cause, I mean... Let's get You're that thing from here. last time. He's a bear. Wait, He's what the hell did you just say? Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. 
At least he didn't deny the fact that it was kind of messed up to begin with. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. Nah. That means you're the most suspicious. <laughs> Hit that one on the nose, didn't you? You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here. Cutest thing ever. But no. Um... None of these are really my kind of answer. Uh... I don't know. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Duh. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. Ha ha! He got it! All this talk about someone throwing people in here... Does he mean... Senpai and the announcer? Doi. Did that someone throw those two in here? Nah. Two other people who are randomly dead in the fucking sky. Hey, what do you think? They accidentally fell in. Uh, that must be it. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Yeah. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here intending to kill them? Possibly. If that's the case... Guys, mumbling about. Why'd you come here, anyways? It's uh, a one-way door. You can't get out once you're in. Minus your magical three television thingy. Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. <sighs> yes, okay. Don't don't badmouth our fucking. We don't need your help this time. See, this time we have a life. Li Where to go, Yosuke? Hey, you better let us out once we're done investigating here. What he said. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Well, you don't have blame us. Proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. Have fun with that. So it is, you guys! No. The last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has yep. to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. Please? You forgot the please, Yosuke. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? Yeah, something like that. I know that. that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Oh, good. Ah, I get it. Huh? If you get it, then explain it to us, damn it! If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here? Shadows get violent? That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Fair enough. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now. Oh, Jesus. Then just leave us in here so we can die. I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? Because he's a bear. I'm just saying... You might be the culprits. Eh, probable cause. We have to give him that much. We're the two people he's constantly seen. I'm just making sure. What? Man, this bear's driving me nuts. What is We're this talking place to a bear. Anyways? It looks like a TV studio. A bear in a jumpsuit, even. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Probable cause. Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Huh? I don't get it. 
As well as him being inside the TV, I don't think he knows what TV is. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. If you even understand what we're saying. Uh, yeah, sure. Only me and Shadows are here, I told you before! You and Shadows, so stuff teddy bear thingy and Shadows. Gotcha. We don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. He's a stuffed Maybe bear. Maybe you're the real culprit. Bear. What's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Bear. Inside. So it's a costume, not really a stuffed bear. It's literally an unstuffed bear. But, uh. Yeah! That's fun. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. I just live here. If by live you mean are an animated bear suit, sure. I just want to live here peacefully. Okay, I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. Thank you. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Kinda why we're here. Promise me, or else. I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. Indentured servitude, yay! For our lives. You little... Let's do it. This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. He's saying this as if it isn't already. And then... And then... I... <laughs> a crying animated bear suit. What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. Just now? Hmm. <sighs> yep, sure enough. <sighs> hey, what should we do? Hmm. It seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. I'm gonna just keep on saying probable cause. And yeah, probably. <laughs> Adoy. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? Let's do it. Can't really say no. Thank you. Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. He is. But it's kind of creepy. It's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. You got a name? Yep. Teddy. Ta-da! Mascot. <laughs> Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> oh, but I know where the last person came in. This is a start. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. Fair enough. I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put these on. Ooh. Time to accessorize, bitches. What are these glasses for? Just put them on Dingleberry. And truth. Whoa! Man, it's a little bit more colorful in here than it was before. The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well... 
I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? We brought weapons, but yeah. I mean, they're more for show. Nah, golf club is a perfect offensive weapon. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Fair. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. Huh. <laughs> Cheerleader. Um We can pretty much do anything here. And it'll just be the same no matter what, so just to prove it. Touch. <laughs> no! <laughs> He's a turtle. Is this thing for real? Uh, this is so lame. What were you expecting, really? We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Eh, not really. Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? Uh, <laughs> dead person, but yeah, new. That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information, too. Let's get moving. Wait! Oh, you poor thing. Look at you flailing on the ground like a... I mean, I'm not going to say it's kind of insensitive. What is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. Kinda. What's going on here? Well, I wouldn't know. We're not allowed to fucking go there yet. Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I don't know what to do. Untangle it. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. <laughs> of course not! He said moral support from a safe distance, which is technically his role for the vast majority of the first, like, 20... 30 hours of the game. Nina, uh, I can't stand too close, you know. I'd get in your way. Fair enough. <sighs> we are the investigators, apparently. Yeah, they really went all out on this. But out of all the places in town, why'd they replicate this one? How should I know? This is reality for the one who's here. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. It actually makes perfect sense if you think about it. This is our shopping district. We're not far from Saki Senpai's. He's thinking. I knew it. This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. And it's open. Does kind this of. mean Senpai disappeared here? Possibly. What could have happened? Lots of things. Wait a second. They're here. Oh, good. What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack!
Oh hell yeah. Stay calm and listen. Oh man, I some forgot. shadows have weaknesses. I can tell this one has a weakness too. If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. Try stuff out and see what works. When you use an attack, the enemy is weak against it will be knocked down. Once knocked down, the enemy will be vulnerable and you can act again. However, the enemy exploits your weakness, it will be able to act again. Keep an eye on both the shadow's weaknesses and your own. First battle! Holy shit, we have health and stuff. Our persona is Izanagi. This is where your actual stats come in. Your stats are according to your persona stats. We are strong against electricity, weak against wind, and we nullify darkness. Darkness and light are insta-kill moves, which means if you get hit by them, you die. But they also have very low accuracy, so the odds of that happening are pretty slim. Nullifying that, however, gets rid of that entirely. Just as before, we have Zero, Cleave, and Rikukaija. So that was what we were using before. These are Slipping Habulri? Habulri? Weird. They are weak to Zeo. I'll keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. Yay, supporting pit mm, English sometimes. Supporting party members like Teddy will remember the attacks you use on enemies. Select Analysis from the command menu to view known data on an enemy. Whenever you want to know more about the shadows, use the Analysis feature. The L1 button also acts as a shortcut to accessing the Analysis feature. Before knocking down an enemy, you get a one more, which means you can effectively attack until you run out of enemies to beat the shit out of. But just like that, it will analyze what is going on. So just Zeo this one, and we'll effectively get three moves in a row. Let's just attack, save our SP. And done. For our trouble, we get some experience, some money, and two more medicine. Amazing, Sensei! Now, unlike other characters, our main character can actually level up himself and his persona. And we can now we are now able to create personas up to level two, which means something different. But more on that when it actually becomes relevant. Yu Narukami has faced his other self. He has obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardships, the persona Izanagi. Oh good. Whoa, what was that? Awesome is I what it was. Say persona? What was it? I mean, what did you do? Awesome. Hey, you think I can do it too? And uh, no, not yet. Calm down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. <laughs> Sensei? Master. Gosh almighty! You're amazing, Sensei! I am one impressed bear. Bear! I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? Swag. That's all I'll say. <laughs> That's what I thought! This is really something! Don't you think so, Yosuke? Dude, you call him Sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Nice. Yeah, right. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> Daw, how cool. All right. You two keep it up, and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Yeah, thanks, Tag Along. Well, let's get back to the investigation. Yeah, we have shit to do. Let's rock. Man, I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here.
Hmm. Ugh, I wish Janess would go under. It's all because of that storm. What the? Oh, I heard that Konishi-san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Petty, petty, petty. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. It's money, guys. Jesus. Hey, hey, Ted. You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I mean... I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. That was the plan to begin with, wasn't it? I mean, not to pop any bubbles or anything. Not again. No oh, good. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. Hiring? I, I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? I... never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? Daddy was a real pain in the ass. Oh. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. The pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo-hoo! Oh, boy. Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> huh? Two Yosuke's? Double the Broske power? No. No. Who are you? I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district, and Juness, too. You're sick of everything. Especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? That's not true, I... You put on a good show of being carefree and happy-go-lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more, the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. And what's this about checking out this world for Saki-senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. 
stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Bad news. Why's that? Because I am you. Worst news. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? It's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? <laughs> I already told you. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that! I don't know you! You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attack the enemy. Select guard from the battle menu to decrease the damage you receive. While defending attacks to your weakness and status ailment attacks can be blocked. But be careful, for you will leave the defensive stance once being hit once. So that's basically like saying, guard. Power charge doubles his attack for that turn. So... Yeah, you definitely want to avoid Yikes. that. This is one tough enemy. And even after defending, we still got hit a good bit. So, we just use Zeo, and we find out that this little shithead is weak to electric. Again and again and again and again. Don't underestimate me. When he's guarding... It's guarding its weak point! That means we guard. After guarding, you'll immediately use Winds of Oblivion and try to get two attacks in. Rock Kaya. He does Power Charge. It's very cut and paste. Um, there are a few discrepancies when he gets lower on HP, but nothing we really have to worry about for the moment. Don't underestimate me. With the defense increase, though, yeah. Probably should have thought that out better. Zio. I should probably note that, huh? So, Zio takes... Zio and Rakukaja take away from your SP, but attack moves like Cleave which are physical skills, will actually use your HP instead. Always pay attention to that. Actually, I'm going to use a medicine. Security reasons. He'll get back up and guard. It's going to attack! Defend yourself! 
Teddy's going to be doing that the rest of the game, so yeah. Zio! Probably going to be completely out of SP by the end of this. That's not going to work. It's been working here. But yeah, since this is our only real option of attack, it doesn't really give us much of an option to do otherwise. I'm okay with that. But he is getting weaker, if you couldn't tell. We only have one more Zeo in us, though. Sorry. You come to an attack, defend yourself! Get out of my suit. I get it, Teddy. I can recognize standard procedure in a game. I'm not a tupid. And he's down. Lots of experience, lots of money. You did it, Teddy! And boom, level four. And when it says that, that means our Persona has leveled up. Strength increased by 2, Magic by 1, Endurance by 2, Agility by 1, and Rakunda. Rakunda is a defense lowering skill for our enemies. And the next one we have is Tarukaja, which is an attack increase. I... I... Yosuke, are you okay? No. Yeah. What happened? A whole lot. Disco Ninja Frog and shit. You. You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Yeah, and I'm kind of out of SP. And I can't fight another one of those. That one. Brave. Damn it. it. Hurts to face yourself. It hurts to face other people too. You see the bruises I got? I knew it wasn't lying. I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me, and I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. Ah. <sighs> Yosuke has faced his other, other self. He has attained the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The Persona Jiraiya. This is my Persona. You fucked yourself you up, heard dude. Senpai's voice. I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. Yeah, go your crushing on does. I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. She dies, and then you find out why she died, and the first thing you hear from her is how much she hated your guts. Hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? And killed? Yeah. I think so. That'd be my guess. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and the big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> no, man. Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. 
I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Yeah, I think we kind of kicked the last of the consciousness out of this place. Back at the center, though. This is going to be our hub whenever we're here. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. Probably but then. That's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. Fair enough. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. Oh, good. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You've been pretty dead. You are lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. Makes me wonder why Teddy didn't hustle forth and bring them out. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Good deal. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Theoretically. Like how you guys just saved me? Yep. Might as well try. That's a way to answer. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. We need a motive, though. Motive is important. Uh, um, hey, can I ask something, too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? Oh, boy. You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? The cuddly nightmare of a five-year-old. I don't know. Your stuffed bear suit things, thing. Mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Well, you thought you were like one of us? Really? Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Eh. Will you guys come back here? We made a promise. You keep your word? Hadoi! Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Yeah. Kind of oh, threatened that's us. Right. Okay, I'll let you out. But there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time so we can meet up. Fair enough. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Yeah, <laughs> let's not do that. Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Please, Roger this is getting that. on to One about exit. an hour. Coming right up. So we played the game for about three hours now, and we've had two fights. A regular fight and a boss cool. fight. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. 
Okay, go, go, go! Squish! <laughs> Shoving oh, us in hey, again. Stop squeezing, you little. Ugh! Out again, huh? Good times. Funk. We need to work on our entrances and our exits. You guys came back. Oh, Chie. Huh? Chie? Whoa, what's with that face? We were gone for a while. Oh. Owned. The nerve of you guys. You are such morons! I can't believe this! You guys suck! Sorry. The rope got cut off and I had no idea what to do. I was so worried. So you were just chilling here for like half an hour? I mean scared stiff, damn it! I hate you both! Sorry. Blame Yosuke. The rope was a dumb idea. I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe. You don't Maybe we think so? Maybe we too far. Oh, we found answers, Let's though. apologize to her tomorrow. Or chase completely after. completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Even though your crush died just this morning. Well, see you in the morning. It was an eventful day. I'll give him that. Oh, broske. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about this part. Damn, it's going to break an hour. Mm -hmm. Hey! What oh, up? Are you surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. And don't have your headband. Um... Are you getting used to your new town and school? Mmm... I like it here. If I could see more of it! Really? But... It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. Eh. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. It sucks. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> uh, we're getting along, sure. I'm glad to hear that. She is very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Troublemaker! Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Busy, busy. Our inn can't function without me right now. You're special. Important, even. Um, I'll see you at school, then. <laughs> yeah, you might want your umbrella, though. It's kind of torrential out there. Dad's late. Like clockwork, man. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. Wow. Not an hour after the midnight channel. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Good girl. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? Sure. No problem, cutie. Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. 
Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. Radium? After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Oh boy. Here we go. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Is this the same dingus who interviewed Saki and freaked her the fuck out? Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? I. Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Face palm. Huh? No. Um. Yay, creeper. This is boring. I second that notion. Oh, I need to do the dishes. I got you, girl. Let's do it. Let's do them dishes. You can now check your status by pressing the triangle button. Holy shit, we can! Oh, what to do? We can even look at Yosuke and his persona, Jiraiya, also level 4. It's a wind-based persona, weak against electricity, and not much else to speak of it. But really, it's more strength-based. It's not much for our magic attack. But it's our only real healer at the moment, as it has the Dia spell, which is our cure spell. And at level 6, it's going to learn Tsukukaja, which is an evasion spell, which will increase our hit rate and evasion. Which is pretty nifty. He's mainly physical, though. You can see we have several slots for our persona, however, and Izanagi is just one of them, and looking at him... Izanagi is very physical himself, but he's also very supportive. He can increase and decrease enemy defense, and in just two more levels, he will also be able to increase our attack power, making it a lot easier for us to do pretty much anything we need to do better. And he's electric, if you couldn't catch up on that by now. He's stronger against electricity, weak against wind, and nullifies darkness, which is nifty as hell. But aside from that, um, what can we even look at? Our equipment! Golf club and t-shirt, long t-shirt, and a monkey wrench. Yep. We don't really have much to go on. But our main character will use two-handed swords, and Yosuke will use, um, kunai. Or knives. Daggers of swords. And here is the kicker. We can look at Yosuke, and it will just give us his general stats. 103 HP and 70 SP. Pretty nice. Our character, however, is this, and if we switch info, that is all five of our statuses. Courage, diligence, understanding, expression, and knowledge. In order to do certain things in this game, you need to level them up, and each notch on the bar is a level. So each one has one, two, three, four, five levels. So we effectively have 25 things to do. And if you couldn't tell, just increasing it a little bit won't level it up. So we have to be a little bit, you know, into getting this right. But yeah, that's that. Um, not much else to look at. We have items for medicine. Kinda hurt. A little, kinda. At the system, we can look at our quests. We can look at the configuration, which is what you've seen in the beginning. And we can go straight to the title screen. But I'm gonna fridge it up. Nothing? Okay, cool. Anyway, let's save. We've actually done something. Holy shit, it only took an hour and five minutes. And some change, even. Alright. Next time, we will continue. We've done one day's worth of work. One day's worth of thing today. Holy shit. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you all then.
Take care, everyone.